and so we meet again. What? I'm recording a video. What'd you say? Yeah, there's Kool-Aid in there. You wanna bring me some too while you're at it? Huh? That'd be awesome. I could go get you. Well, it'd be, it, would, it would be even more awesome if you could go get me a gra glass. You're awesome. I don't, I don't know where the spider went. Thank you. Well, today's Monday. I normally record these videos on Monday and then have them ready for you by Tuesday because I have really slow upload speeds on my internet, so it takes forever for me to upload a video. But, um, video, 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 yes, the tongue and groove cabinet door video, how-to kind of video. Um, that was a video that was, I tried to change things up a little bit. I, I kind of have a little, everyone has their own little style of videos that they make, and it's, it's cool to remain in that style, but it's also cool to venture out of that occasionally, and I really don't do a post-production narration I guess of any of my videos. I've actually I've only, I've done it once for the two by four bench video. I think I narrated that whole video, but I figured I would try something different and just narrate that video because, well, for the sake of trying something different. And I probably won't do that again for a very 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 long time. That was a short video, less than ten minutes, and it honestly took me over two hours to record the audio for that. Just speaking into a microphone on my computer desk, I don't know why, but it was just screw up after screw up after screw up, and I couldn't hardly speak at all, so I probably won't do that again because that took way too much time, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was a project that was a lot of repetition and a lot of boring and a lot of just boring woodworking. You're just making joinery over and over and over again, and I had to do it, so that's why I did it, and I just decided to turn it into a... You can come out here. Decided to turn it into a how-to video uh, on how to make tongue and groove joinery. My wife just brought me some Kool-Aid. You're awesome. <laughs> so the next project is going to be a doghouse, and I've already posted a picture of it on my Facebook page. It's going to be more of a for the dog's enjoyment doghouse. If it gets too cold, they're not going to be sleeping outside anyway. We'll bring them inside. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, super energy efficient with heaters and all kinds of crazy stuff that a lot of people have suggested. It's just going to be a simple doghouse that'll keep the rain off them if they want to be out in the yard. They've got a huge, uh, like 12 foot square uh, covered back porch that they can get on to get out of the rain. But if they just want to be out in the yard, then they can go in the doghouse. So. That's going to be like kind of the main purpose of it and you know sleeping at night for nights that are above freezing. If it gets too cold they're coming inside. So uh, that's going to be this week's project and I'm trying to make it out of plywood for the sides but thinking about using a V-bit groove and a router to kind of just make some horizontal grooves all over it to make it, kind of give it that appearance of a planked siding or like a log cabin kind of look you know. And um, not exactly sure how I'm going to finish it. I think I'm going to, I'm obviously going to use some stain, some nice oil based stain to seal it all in. Uh, but I want to like really, really stain it nice and good to pr help protect it from the elements and then probably spray a lot of spar urethane on it or just Thompson's water seal. I'm not sure, but I will probably figure that out soon because I have to make it this week. Good stuff. And up next after the doghouse is probably going to be a bunk bed. If not that week, then the week after. And if not that week, then the week after that. But sometime soon there's going to be a bunk bed. A twin size, twin over twin bunk bed to go in my spare room. Uh, we're going to try and turn it into kind of like a guest room that could, could be converted into a children's room if that need arises. Um, but it's going to be a twin over twin, don't have enough space to make it any bigger than that. And the twin, the, the bunk bed aspect of it will allow us to, you know, if we have family over, 
uh, a couple people could stay the night as opposed to just one person. Something like that. And also, after the bunk bed, it's going to be turned into a room, like I said, so that means a chest of drawers will probably be sometime soon after that. And then a nightstand or maybe a bookcase kind of thing. So we've got a lot of interior projects planned. It's just around, just a matter of uh, scheduling them and getting them all planned out and sketch up first. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I've also decided that I'm just going to get a, uh, one of them small rolling portable, semi-portable uh, Grizzly Cyclones. It's like 900 bucks. And the way I look at it is I'm not cutting it. I'm, out of the question cutting holes or making any modifications to the garage door or putting under anything underneath it for the dust to blow out of. Um, so I'm just going to get a cyclone with a canister and just be done with it. I don't want to modify this thing. I'm tired of doing that. I just want to work in here and I know that once winter hits, pretty much everything I do is going to be made with the garage door shut. So I need to get that straightened out. Probably, it's probably going to be about a month from now before I get it, but I'm going to go ahead and get that. I've decided on it. So that should be a little bit of peace of mind. Anything else exciting that I need to talk about, Jamie? I don't know what I said. I need a bookshelf. You need a bookshelf? I'm going to be making a bookshelf soon. I don't know what size yet, but I'm going to be making a bookshelf soon. She says I am anyway. Some people have asked what the outside of the property looks like around the house, and you've probably seen the house in some pictures on Facebook or in the videos here and there, but uh, I just recorded a separate video of walking around the property and uh, kind of talking about the property and some future plans as far as a nice privacy fence or anyway. I don't know if that video is going to go up first or this video is, but uh, that's going to be there if it's not already for you to check out if you are interested. Other than that, I don't have much going on. I've got a really, really, really messy shop that I need to clean up, and I'm going to rearrange some things. Uh, I'm not sure if it's before or after the doghouse, but I'm definitely moving the table saw to the back wall, and actually going to move the fence rails over and get a little bit more space, uh, more rip capacity. So that's going to be another little fun thing to do. I don't think I have much else to talk about, so I will... Talk to you guys later.